Hi everyone, welcome to Miss Wetton's Science Revision. In this video we're going to look at how to calculate the rate of a chemical reaction. So we can calculate the rate of reaction using two different equations and it doesn't matter which one you use, it just depends on the information you're given. The first one is rate of reaction equals reactant used, so that's the amount of reactant that you're using up. This can be measured either in grams if it's a solid or centimetres cubed if it's say a gas and we're measuring the volume of a gas used up. How much reactant you use up and then you divide that by the time it takes to use up that amount of reactant and time is always measured in seconds. So because our rate of reaction is something measured in grams divided by something measured in seconds or something measured in centimetres cubed divided by something measured in seconds, our unit is going to be grams per second or centimetres cubed per second. The other equation is the amount of product formed, again in grams or centimetres cubed, divided by the time it takes to form that amount of product. So product formed over time. You can use either one of these equations and again both of them will come out with units of grams per second or centimetres cubed per second. Here's an example of using these equations and you just have to use either one of them depending which information they give you in the question. In a reaction 10 grams of reactant was used in 5 seconds. Calculate the rate of the reaction. So in this question they've told us that we have used up a certain amount of reactant. So we're going to do reactant used divided by time. So our reactant used is going to be 10 grams because they've said we've used up 10 grams of our reactant. And then our time, which is measured in seconds, this time it's 5 seconds. It took us 5 seconds to use up 10 grams. So we do 10 divided by 5 and that will give us our rate of reaction, which will be 2 grams per second. Grams per second because our reactant used was measured in grams and our time was measured in seconds. Here's some practice questions for having a go at this. These are just written questions like the one before. Number one, in the reaction between sodium and chlorine, 20 grams of sodium chloride is produced in five seconds. Calculate the rate of the reaction. And then they're going to tell us that the units will be grams per second. Number two, in the reaction between carbon and oxygen, 15 centimetres cubed of oxygen is used up in 30 seconds. Calculate the rate of the reaction, and then there's an extra bit here, and state the unit. So that's a three mark question instead of two. You get an extra mark for stating the units. And finally, in the reaction between magnesium and hydrochloric acid, the mass of magnesium decreased by 25 grams in one minute. Calculate the rate of the reaction. And in this one, they've given us the units again. Pause the video and have a go at these questions yourself. So for the first question, they've told us how much sodium chloride is being produced. So we do product formed divided by time. Our product formed is 20 grams and our time is 5 seconds. So we're going to do 20 divided by 5, product formed over time. And that will give us a rate of reaction of 4 grams per second. So every second we're making 4 grams of sodium chloride. In this 2 mark question, you'll get 1 mark probably for doing the right equation, product formed over time and then another mark for getting the final answer correct. Second question, we know that we have used up 15 centimetres cubed of oxygen, so we're going to do reactant used over time. This time our reactant used is 15 centimetres cubed, and our time is 30 seconds, so we do 15 divided by 30, and our rate of reaction will be 0 0.5, and then to do the units, we're going to do something measured in centimetres cubed, divided by something measured in seconds, so it's going to be centimetres cubed divided by seconds, or that will come out as centimetres cubed per second. So that's how you work out your units. Look at the units of the things that are in your equation and see if you can figure out what are you dividing by what. So the final answer would be 0 0.5 centimetres cubed per second. So in that question you're going to get one mark for doing the correct process, the reactant used over time, one mark for the final answer of 0.5, and then your extra mark is for working out your units correctly. Then in this last question, the mass of magnesium is decreasing, so we're using up the magnesium, so it's reactant used over time. In this case, our time is given as one minute, and we know that we want our time to be in seconds, so we need to convert one minute into seconds, 
and there are 60 seconds in a minute. So our time isn't one minute, it's going to be 60 seconds. So our reactant used is 25 grams. Our time is 60 seconds. 25 divided by 60 comes out as 0.42 grams per second. So we're getting an extra mark there for converting the time. So in that question, you're getting one mark for doing reactant used over time, one mark for the final answer of 0.42, but you were getting one mark for converting one minute to 60 seconds. If you didn't do that, you would just miss out on that one mark, but you'd still get the other two. Now, very often you'll get given a graph like this one and you have to work out the rate of reaction from a graph rather than from a written question. So it's showing you the amount of product that's being formed over a certain amount of time. For example, calculate the average rate of reaction during the first 10 seconds. So we're just going to use the whole graph for this. We're working out the average over the first 10 seconds. We've got the amount of product formed and we've got the time. So we're going to do product formed divided by time. So to do this, we know that our time is going to be 10 seconds. So we find 10 seconds on the graph and it's right at the end on this one. We read up from our 10 seconds, draw a line straight up until you find the curve. And then when you get to the curve, draw a line straight across so you can find out how much product had been formed at that point. So then we know our time is 10 seconds and then at 10 seconds our product formed was 5. So we'd made 5 grams of product. So now we know product formed is 5 so we can do 5 divided by 10 product formed over time and that is 0.5 grams per second. So you're getting one mark for reading the values off the graph and figuring out that five grams have been produced at 10 seconds, one mark for doing product formed over time, and one mark for getting the final answer correct. Here's some practice questions for rate of reaction graphs. You need to do exactly the same thing. And this time we've got the mass of magnesium and it's going up, so that tells us that's our product being formed. It tells us how much product is being formed. Calculate the mean, that's the average rate of reaction during the first 100 seconds. And then on this one, the volume of HCl is going down, so that means we're using up our HCl. It's a reactant being used up. Calculate the mean rate of reaction during the first 10 seconds. Pause the video and have a go at these questions. So in this question, we find our 100 seconds, we read up, and then we read across to see how much product has been formed and that tells us our product formed. So our magnesium produced in this case is 50 grams and we know that our time is 100 seconds. So now we can just do our simple sum product formed divided by time which will be 50 grams divided by 100 seconds just as before. So our rate of reaction is 0.5 grams per second. So in that question you're getting an extra mark for reading off the graph one for doing the process, and then one for your final answer. On the second one, our time is 10 seconds. We read up and across to see that we have made 15 centimetres cubed of hydrochloric acid. So we started with 30, if you look at the graph. So we've gone from 30 hydrochloric acid down to 15. That means we've used up 15 centimetres cubed of hydrochloric acid. So that one's a bit tricky. You've got to work out how much you've used up in those first 10 seconds. We know our time is 10 seconds, our reactant used is 15 centimetres cubed. So we can do 15 divided by 10 and our rate of reaction will be 1.5 centimetres cubed per second. So in those questions, you're going to get your one mark for reading the values off the graph correctly, one mark for doing the process using the equation and then another mark for your final answer. Thank you so much for watching guys, I really hope this video has been helpful for you. Let me know in the comments if there is a particular topic that you're struggling with that you want me to make a video for. And I will see you in the next video. Bye bye!